we falling? Are we? Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, we're rotating, we're rotating. Uh, the atrium is certainly not meant to have this much water in it. That's what I've concluded. Um. Hello, good sir. Welcome to the Code Planner Ambulance. You're right now at the south Sawyer Islands Harbor. Uh, as you can see from this diagram of the ship you're about to get on, you booked a ticket with us, and you are welcome to board. Yes. yes. All right. So Launch you're gonna go through the security checkpoint here. Make sure to yeah put your items through the security right on here. Good. And uh, okay, that. No. That's going to be a pass, and you can get through with a pass as well. The MV Imbalance uh, has been in progress for being built for almost, um, how many months now? More passengers? Yeah, about nine like months. four months. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're going to sh shut the doors. We've oh, locked the guests in the ship. Yes, this is Captain Darnell. He uh, he likes oh, to yeah. keep at the festivities. Josephine. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know what her last name is. She didn't actually write it down on her uh, ticket. So, as our VIP guest, uh, you get none other than our finest uh, stateroom. Due to the uh, ticket you bought being worth $130,000, uh, you have a lot of ability. You have been granted a lot of abilities on this boat. Honk the horn some, why don't that? Yes. We are departing. Uh, we're just gonna watch. Go. You know, we are separating from the dock. We are barely latched in. Oh, my patio. And I'll, uh, I'll read a newspaper. Yeah. Tight turning radius on this boat too. I should add. Oh, look out the left. Yes, I can see you there. How's it going, good sir? You enjoying your? Oh, great. Yeah. This newspaper, this newspaper is very nice. So, uh, Captain, have you evaluated the uh, situation? You think, think we're sailing well? All right. Now that we're out of the harbor, I believe the speed limit increases. So let's crank the thing into high gear. And when I say that, I mean let's go into about like 40% of what the ship can handle. Because if we go any faster, it gets a little uncomfortable. So let's oh, dang. put them in place. Oh, man, I got right it. now we are man. breaking the law by not having our uh, navigation lights on. The foyer, what is your uh, evaluation of it? You recognize the craftsmanship, all the uh, all the carpet, and all the carefully crafted wallpaper? You you recognize? Yeah. 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 Are you really admiring the staircase, sir? Yeah, beautiful, my favorite. Are you all right? The only lavatory on the ship is on the deck. So look at that yeah, beautiful wall really. there. Yeah, little inconvenient. Yeah, yeah. You go a bit so out of here. Nice air ducts. And this oh, one's for here. you. You go into the gentleman's bathroom. Beautiful deck up here. We also have this helicopter landing pad and these seats. Now, I'd like to give you a tour of the entire ship now after your bathroom break. There we go. I had to inhale the um, fumes of the engine room. Yeah, speaking of the fumes of the engine room, that's one of the places you get to go due to the expensive Yay. ticket you bought for $132,000. Fuel levels in the green, so that's yes. not a concern even. Uh, you're permitted to come into the engineering room. Come on. And turn on the engine lights too, so it's, uh, it's, it's bright throughout here. You can see all the engines well illuminated, all 12 of them, and they have like a thousand oh. horsepower or something. It's it's over the top. So this is called the atrium. So a lot of places for fun. We have the diner. So a casual place for some people to get a nice meal in. We went with the 80s uh, era of diner. Favorite. Lovely I drink green water. and blue. Yeah, you get a nice, nice gallon of water there. All right, we also can make a smoothie here with this uh, banana. You just go under here and That's drink it. From, you need to drink it from down here. A nuclear silo. Yeah. This this nuclear silo is part of the playground. This here is our Polynesian style um, tiki hut. Look at this. You get you can have dinner here. By far the most formal place to get dinner on the ship with these nice golden plates. I know we spared no expense when it comes to this tiki hut. Uh, beautiful designs throughout, and we have an airplane here. Just more playground stuff for the kids. They get a beautiful view outside of the sky. This is safe though. This is safe though. They will climb up here. There's you no know, kids. The kids are kids. Okay. They'll probably climb. It's like a jungle gym. Flop. 
probably climb up here, and they'll probably somehow manage to get over here. Move. Now let's take a look at the Arctan Theater. Uh, this theater, let's turn on the house lights and the screen. You can see all sorts oh, of different different movies going on here. My favorite Don't movie, back. it's called Titanic. Oh yeah, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Best movie And ever. also, at different times of the day, it can be like a, like a different theater where people can do plays, act out, and stuff. This is the best performance ever. Oh my gosh, he started spazzing out there for a second. There's also a second story to this right. with more seating and more view. This here is the Kotan Club. Oh. Uh, this sure? Is, this instead here is the, where people can get refreshments. They can either get the choice of water from this uh, bathtub figure, or they can get H2O, H2O plus. plus from, yeah. Delicious. I know. Do recommend. Uh, and also, it's like a nightclub, so. Oh yeah. People can you know, dance. You know, you, know, you know what it tastes like? You know what it tastes like? H2O plus. Yeah, you know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like water. Crisp <laughs> what? water. What? Crisp. We have a model of the ship with incredible detail made by the some. Lioness. Yeah, it was made by a three-dimensional artist. Here we have a piano for people to play their most melodic tunes on. I know how to, I know how to play. I don't know how to play. Going up a level, we can get a look at the lifeboats deck. Honestly, it's like a nice place to stand. You get a somewhat nice view. You get a nice uh, sense of security from the lifeboats here. On this floor, there is a bunch of the bedrooms. For example, room 119 here, which is a bit of a suite since it comes in larger square footage than most of the other oh, but rooms. there is a bigger balcony. Yes, there is a significantly larger balcony. They get a panoramic view balcony. They have a television here too, and a nice seating chair. Incredibly luxurious. And this is the average uh, estate room. It still comes so the, with many features with the bed. Is this the um, third class? No, no, this is practically uh, second class. Back here is first class, and up there, that's like negative first class. It's so good. Captain Darnell is still sailing the ship very well. I don't yeah. think I don't think he knows the autopilot's on. Aft scenic deck. Look out here. Beautiful view. You can't get a view like this anywhere else. Oh, you can't even jump off. That's so so nice. Yeah, safe. People people can't. We're about to, we're gonna have a a nice meal served to us of a uh, fish. Yeah, particularly salmon, the finest oh, my favorite. the finest aboard. With mashed oh. potatoes. Gravy. The uh, the weather has yeah, become oh. a bit more, a bit more treacherous. I must say, uh, yeah. a bit more dreary at the very least. Uh, how is Miss Josephine doing? Single. Either way. Uh, oh, oh my. The escalation. Oh, the escalation in weather. Oh, oh god. Oh, yeah. I gotta go back to my. Oh, I'm seasick. He's, get, he's getting seasick. Don't throw up on Miss Josephine. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Do it off the aft scenic deck, if you may. Why is, why is the vertical? why is the lifeboat unlocked? I did not unlock it. Yeah. Really? Then who did a ghost? So I can oh, see you you found your elite suite, as it were. Uh, beautiful lighting in here. Oh, it, it appears you must have been spying on Captain. Oh, you fell asleep in like half a second. I know I know you're faking it. I guess I'm gonna have to remove the C4 from his closet now. Where'd he go? Go away. <laughs> if you if you can't get your act together, we're gonna have to uh, take this room from you and put you in the engine room. I'm You're... sorry, okay, I'll just down. Yeah, you'll be cleaning machine. engines for the rest of your life if you can't behave. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's an island. Oh, we got so close to hitting that. Oh. Accident averted. Wait. Do you hear a scraping sound? The engines have shut off. Um, uh, we've lost a significant amount of power. Uh, do we have could, generators? We, we got emergency generators. Here, I'll oh, make sure. Downstairs. I'm turning on the emergency generators. The aft depth shows uh, 10 meters. Um, that means it got really shallow. You don't think we could have... Uh, no, no. You don't think it's sure, surely not. I think we're gonna. We might be able to start the engine successfully again. Let's see. Have, like, there we go. Our speed's increasing. 
Uh, I think I think we should just continue sailing. What's the yeah. chance anything even happened anyway? We probably just hit a small rock and had some like no, no. scrapage I, I, on the bottom. It was probably like a flamingo we ran over or something. Got caught in the yeah. propeller. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, Captain Darnell on his post here. The flamingo wouldn't quite as explain the damage we've taken to our battery. Uh, we've lost significant True. power. Or is this boat unsinkable? Oh, uh, this boat is certainly not unsinkable. We would never go to suggest a measure that drastic. But it is impervious to sinking, at the very least. Do you have any other dance moves? You're showing disapproval? Wait, wait. <laughs> Look at the neck. Mm. Man, these uh, these waves seem to be reaching the deck. Yeah. That's, a, that's awfully peculiar. Um... I don't believe the ship is yeah. engineered to do that. Oh, despite the uh, the dreary weather, I hope you've been enjoying your cruise. Because at yeah. the oh, oh <laughs> okay, okay, I that wasn't that bad. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. what's that over there? Uh, it's just the rain. Rain. Um, I uh, 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 it's a monsoon. Uh, get in, get inside, get inside. get inside. Shut the door. Shut the door. All right, I'm I'm gonna look out through this window. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna look through oh. the... Maybe I need to get in the foyer. Oh. Oh, there's... Oh, it's it's fully submerged. Oh no. Oh no, we are... We are, uh, we are underwater. We're fine, no, no, it's, it's like surfing it. If I was in the bathroom, I'd be completely fine. Are we falling? Are we... Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, we're rotating, we're rotating. Uh, oh no. We're listing heavily, although... Josephine, are you okay? I think the fact that we were able to survive a tsunami goes to show you the excellent engineering that was put into the ship, yeah. I think uh, that's going to be the worst of it. We're through the worst of it, certainly. I'm going to check the engine room, actually. Let's we'll see what's going down down there. See, uh, we'll see uh, may I join? I maybe, yeah, maybe it's a stability problem. That's that's my best prediction, yeah. Most likely a stability problem. Oh. There we go. Let me turn on the atrium lights just so I can get a good view. Yes. Go back up! No! Oh! Uh, the atrium is certainly not meant to have this much water in it. That's what I've concluded. Um, we need to get the lifeboats out right now. Okay. The back half is literally almost underwater. General alarms, muster stations. We are, uh, ah. this is an emergency. This is an emergency. Yep. Okay. All right. Make sure you save Josephine. I'm working on it. Josephine has been placed in your responsibility. The lifeboat deck is almost underwater. Okay. I'm working on it. Get the lifeboat out. Captain. <laughs> Get it out of here! <gasps> ah. Josephine, no! With every oscillation of the ship. Okay, go this is here. rough, this is rough. Captain. Going, going. I hope I, Captain I doesn't think that get. Was a flamingo. I don't think that was a flamingo. The ship is lying on top of my lifeboat. There we go. I, I got this lifeboat loose. We got Captain Darnell out successfully. The cruise ship is losing power. Yeah, yeah, the lights are out. If I take a guess, I'd say that's probably due to the uh, the sinking. So, Captain, after uh, long and hard thinking, we, uh, we've come to realize we believe you're at fault for this sinking. Now, you might think that's unrealistic and that we're at fault. However, we'll only rescue you if uh, you say it was your fault. And if you don't, well, I guess you'll uh, you'll be sinking here. Now that you've acknowledged it's your fault, we'll, uh, we'll let you live. So you may uh, you may come with us. No. Okay. Here. No, me go, me go, me go take a poop. You need to go to the bathroom while it's sinking. Mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> don't don't so forget it. Don't sure. forget. Don't forget a flush. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Here, I'm uh, I'm I'm a little gonna wet though in there. I'm, yeah, I'm standing here on the bow of the ship. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there, the, here's the last part to go underwater. I'll, I'll stand on this. And there goes our, uh, there goes our MV ambulance. It only costed like eight hundred and six thousand dollars. Man, that. And my you ticket covered, yeah, your ticket, your, your ticket covered like a sixth of that price. Oh, how much was Josephine's ticket? Four dollars. But you got yep. the, but you got the Uber Suite. I have a question. Can can our lifeboats connect into one? Oh yes. Yeah. What about the back Wait. ones? Just press forward, right? There we go. Wait, what if we just accelerate? Yeah. Just... Our our lifeboats have joined and we have become one lifeboat. Become one, one lifeboat. Become one with the lifeboat. Okay. Well, I don't know what our lesson was today. 
other than the MV Ambulance is now ready to be downloaded. I have that ship built for you for the low, low cost of $806,000. I think that's gonna just about wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe, become a super subscriber. Share this video with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to Lucas's channel, subscribe to my channel, and join the Co-Planner Discord server. I'll never see you, but I hope you'll see me in the next video. Goodbye.